What is happening, y'all? We are back with another episode of Elden Ring. And for those of you who are new to my channel, or those of you returning, welcome back. And um, we're glad that you guys chose to watch. So, we are pretty... F uh, well, I guess we're not that far into the game. We've explored a lot. But as you can see... It just keeps going. So, um, we were over here, and we were facing this direction, and that star fell somewhere over in this direction. Um, just not sure. Enti entire, I'm not entirely sure where. We do need to go here, though, to this cave. So we'll mark that on our map. And there's a cave also right here. Mark that on the map. We do need to explore more of this map. We need to go through Lindell, though, to get there. Um, yeah, so we'll need to go through Lindell. Uh, we'll probably need to fight, uh, the dude, uh, whatever his name is. Yeah, Praetor Rykot, I think is what his name is. Hmm. Volcano Manor, Volcano Manor Request. We don't need to keep doing that, though. I mean, we'll probably get rewards or something of another. Um, ooh, and I also found out which way to go from here. So we're going to actually go and do uh, Rhea Lucaria now. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just snacking. Mm-mm-mm. I was actually going to start this video, and I was like, looking for my pork rinds, I'm like, shit, I don't have any pork rinds, damn it, okay, so I was told to go this direction, and you have to jump down here, Go up, up, and away. Yeah. So this is actually how... Holy crap. Oh, look, crystal darts. So this is, you know, how you actually get through here. And there's these magical boulders that are just falling. Okay, and I'm very unsure how to navigate this whole thing. Whew, we made it. Oh, man. That was actually nerve-wracking. What? So this is the direction I was told to go. Um, <clears throat> my buddy at work was telling me. So I was like, hey, you know, um, how do we get down the rooftops without, you know, going back to the beginning? And he's like, oh, that? Oh, you just got to keep going to the right of that open courtyard after the, the debate parlor. I was like, oh, ooh, Moongrum, Carrion Knight. This guy looked like he'd be a problem. So what we're going to do... Is we are going to put these up. Oh shit! You ain't so tough.
What? That should have killed him. Oh, he tried to pull out his magic wand. Oh, he had a nice spell sword. Carry a knight's shield. Dude, he had a nice spell sword. It looked like it had a glint stone embedded in it. I want to know where that goes, but I don't want to get dropped somewhere. That would just be bad news. Holy crap sticks. Is he the only one out there? I suck a G. Yeah, it is. Golden room number four. Trina's Lily. Oh, I know where this is. Shortcut. Read, and then we got the shortcut. <coughs> okay, so, so far, um, in the game, if you guys are wondering what my stats look like, because I've never shown my stats before, it's just when I level up that I show them. So right now, my Vigor's at 27. My mind is still at 11. I have not touched my mind, faith, or arcane. The uh, build that I'm going for requires uh, dexterity and intelligence, as you can see. My intelligence was at like 10, I think, or maybe like 11 or 12, maybe 12, I think, somewhere around there. It was the, uh, the samurai that I had chose. So, naturally, it was more dexterity because of the Uchigatana. And the Uchigatana requires more dex than strength. Originally, I was going for a dex... Uh, dex strength build but then like halfway through I was like oh look at this I've got a meteoric blade katana uh, and it's magic requirements are 18 uh, for intelligence so I'm gonna go for a dex magic build and I c could go strength if I wanted to honestly I could but I would have to reallocate my uh, my skill points. So right now, this is the shield that I want to use. The jellyfish shield. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Guard boost is at 50. This other one's at like 47. Yeah, it's 47. This one, it's better uh, towards fire damage. This one's better towards magic. But this one's better towards magic, fire, you know. Lightning and holy is okay. The fire on this one's better than any other shield I have. Magic is better on this one and holy. Good shield to have if you're fighting magic. So, I will... <clears throat> I will probably end up using this shield during the boss fight on this level. Or I might use this one. I mean, this is 58% of the damage negation. Guard damage negation is magic. And then holy it in. But, um, yeah, this is the one I want to use right now. It's just super heavy. This one's a tiny bit, uh, or no, this one's... A tiny bit lighter than the current shield I have so I'm gonna actually use this shield yeah this one has magic negation probably because of the glint stones in it but 
but yeah, guys, that's uh, that that's what my build looks like right now, and you know, as you can see, what I, you can tell what I'm going for with strength. I just use this the strength attribute for what I need to carry, because some things you need a certain amount of strength to use, and your basically your strength is your strength and dexterity are your power levels of how much your attack is increased and how much uh of a buff you get from your uh um uh, your weapon your attribute scaling so <clears throat> having those two higher is going to make your attack power better so having strength is not going to hurt me if i'm doing for a dexterity build it can only help me so and of course i have more dex than strength it's what the build calls for. And intelligence and strength are matched right now just by pure coincidence. It's not something I was aiming for. And intelligence, I'm only raising it when I need to. Because I'm going for the bare minimum requirements of certain weapons. So, strength I needed 20 to, to carry this jellyfish shield. Because it has really good damage negation while guarding. So, that's the reason. The intelligence I'm raising is for, uh, like I said, is for to be able to use certain weapons. Nagitana is not one of them. The Nagitana, is, as you can see, I need 20 dex, 16 strength. This one, 10, 10, and 15. You need 15 intelligence to use this one because it does, uh, it does magic damage uh, when hitting. But you can put a skill on this thing. And I do have a magic skill that I can put on my shield. So, yeah. And look at this. This is the armor I'm using right now. The twin armor. Twinned armor. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take that off. Because I really don't need it. Uh, we'll go for enhanced jump attacks, I think. Yeah, we'll go for enhanced jump attacks. Raises potency of sorcery. So this one will actually make our casting stronger uh, greatly boost non-physical damage negation so this one will help us you know with all over damage negation for you know non-physicals this one just directly lightning as you can see how much it raises it compared and then fire is at 40 this one only puts it up to 36 from 31 so, I mean, that's, that's a good jump. Uh, this one raises your dexterity. That's great, because I have a dex build, and I need that. Raises it by five points. This one raises your faith. If I ever needed to use an incantation, like that poison uh, mist that I have, if I will I mean, I don't need to, but if I wanted to for that specific one, or for heal, because I've got healing... Um, incantations that I have equ I don't have equipped but I have them you know learned oh shit um hope this isn't taking us into somewhere we can't get out of okay cool cool so we're going farther up into the castle or the school be on the lookout, you guys, because I've been neglecting the uh, the secret path uh, search. Like, honestly, like, I really have door ahead. No secret passage. Didn't expect beautiful. Good luck. Oh, man. We might be going into a boss fight right here. I mean, this is a big-ass door. And there was another thing that took us somewhere. Uh, you know what? Let's go back down and use that little teleporter thing real quick. Because we might be going into a boss fight right here.
Luarnia of the Lakes? What the fuck? Church of Vows. Is that a giant tortoise? What up, B? Oh, look, a chest. Golden sewing needle. Golden tailoring tools. Oh, dude, can we finally do everything now instead of just our, our uh, main chest armor? Special sewing noodle for demigod attire. Allows demigod garb alteration at sites of grace. Tailoring tools made from gold. Tools brought to with the red haired Radigan when he married into the carrion line. With these even demigod attire can be altered at sites of grace. Hell yeah. He's probably gonna give us maybe something useful as like demigod stuff. There's a sight of grace outside. Hell yeah, bro. There's another one over there. Or no, maybe it's not. I thought there was one over there. It looked like it. Yo. Oh, there's a sword monument. These sword monuments give little hints about stuff around you. This looks conspicuous, this area. Like, something might pop out of the ground. The second... Luarnian war. No victory for the golden, nor for the moon. No prize but atonement. The birth of a vow. Okay, so that makes no fucking sense. Let's get up here. Lower fruit. Alright, let's talk about with this turtle head. Looks like the Pope. Tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Earth Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between Red Haired Radicon and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. What does he teach? Give a prayer book. Oh, dude, we could give the assassin's prayer book to him. Oh, what have we? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Huh. So let's see. Darkness creates area of darkness that conceals caster. Oh, so it's like an invisibility spell. Assassin's approach. Blessings boon. Grants blessing to self and nearby allies. 
silences footsteps, reduces fall damage and sound. So I wonder if we use the the cat talisman and this, and one of those cotton things, if it'll increase the uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> the the fall damage negation. Create an area of darkness that conceals caster. So he doesn't teach us much. This is the one I think that he teaches you. Blessings boon. These two are for the assassin thing. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I can't learn any of them. What is this? Magic glint blade. Create sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. Huh. Perform sweeping slash using magical greatsword. <laughs> We can't use this because it's 24 intelligence. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion. The best of Fleming and Red Rocks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there, and became husband to the Carnian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day. As to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Huh. That's weird. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Radigan was in the freaking place, dude. We fought him. That's weird. We, yeah, we fought Radigan. He ain't, he wouldn't shit. Hmm. If you guys want to see that fight, it's probably like two or three videos back. Hmm. This is a Church of Atonement. <clears throat> this reminds me of Dark Souls 3? I think it was 3. There, um... There was multiple, uh, Dark Souls games that had the, uh... The, uh, I can't remember his freaking name. He was a uh, guy that if you killed, like, uh, an NPC or you hit an NPC and they were pissed at you and they would attack you on site, you could actually go to him for ab ablution and you can, uh, you know, pay money to have the NPC forgive you. Like, say you hit a merchant and, you know, he, where he was aggressive towards you after so many hits. Like, my controller, dude, like, that right there was accident right there. Like, my right trigger is, uh, a little broken. It shouldn't even be, man. This thing is a brand new freaking controller. <laughs> but yeah, so, I've accidentally hit NPCs on, like, see, I'm not even meaning to do that. Like, I barely lay my finger on it, rest my finger on it. Or, like, say if I put my controller down, it'll automatically press the, the right trigger. Or R2. Which sucks, dude, because I've killed people on accident or got them aggressive towards me. And I didn't mean to. But yeah, um, you can go back and have your uh, atonement, you know, get your atonement and have ablution. Ablution? Absolution. Uh, I thought it was ablution, but I'm saying the wrong word. See how many brains I have? None. Anyway, but yeah, that's the uh, the story behind this uh, this whole deal.
needing um, absolution to atone for, you know, things. So, say if you, you know, do something you didn't mean to do, and you didn't mean to kill an NPC, or you didn't mean to hurt an NPC, you can use that uh, church or that whatever to atone, and you'll be forgiven, so that you can once again get hit up your uh, grave violence? Yeah, so once again, you can hit up, you know, whoever you didn't mean to offend. There's a side of grace. I know where that one is. You got those big-ass dudes in there, freaking with bows. Shooting you with great arrows. And it don't matter if you try to avoid it or not. You still get hit. It does massive damage. Alright. So, we've messed around for long enough. Ooh, look at that. Crystal bud. Things are not very hard, easy to see. I wonder what those sacra, uh, sacramental bl uh, buds are. I can't remember what item they're for. Yeah. I need to go on a, uh, a, what do you call it, a, uh, resource scavenge, uh, mission. Oh! Dead. Definitely wasn't the smartest thing to do. Oh, good thing it wasn't at the top. That'd be kind of cool if there was an item over there. Or up there. Oh shit, that, oh. I need to go back to where the game started and go back and collect a bunch of row of fruit. Those fields are full of them. But right now, let's uh, go back to Rhea Lucaria. Oh, here we go. Uh, was it right here? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we fought right again in here. That's why I was like listening to that turtle story and And I was like, huh? I was like, what is this dude even talking about? Get a ball for that thing. Mmm. I went the wrong way.
Oh, Ray of Lucarian Road. Damn, homie. You want to do me like that? What's up, B? Yeah, I wouldn't want to die either. Sorry. You're meant to give me runes, so. Hmm, good. Alright, so we don't need to go back over there. Let's go back up this lift and, uh, check that big ass room out. There we go. Although, what can it be? Hmm, we can summon in here. Oh, damn. This is the great library where she is. Uh, okay. Well, maybe it is. It seems like it would be. Hmm. Wolves? Or this guy? Hmm. Let's go with wolves. Here we go, wolfies. Oh, yep. I knew it. That's creepy. Kids? Hush, little Culver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Hmm. Okay. What the fuck? Oh shit, nugs. Well, they're not giving us runes. Now the queen of the full moon. My wolves aren't really getting hurt. These things are just falling from the fucking sky. Okay.
Okay, so I gotta find the one that's enlaved in gold. Got her. That fight was not hard at all. Is there a second phase? Tell me there's a second phase, because that was kind of easy. I didn't even need to heal. So is that her or Oh shit Oh my god Holy crap. Holy shit. No! I should have rolled. Yeah, no shit, I died.
Oh, you assholes. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I got these cookies, and they're raspberry tart cookies. You know what I mean, right? Those shortbread cookies with the raspberry jam in the middle. Oh, these things are huge! And they're individually packaged? What? Oh my god. Yo, these cookies are fire. Hmm. All right, y'all. Hopefully, we can beat her.
Yeah, bitch. What now? What now, bitch? That's right, Wolfies. Remembrance of the full moon queen. What great rule of the unborn. How you like me now, bitch? We did that. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out now. Thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. Okay, so we can change our character and uh, we can uh, do rebirth so we can reallocate our skill points. Remember I was telling you guys about this in the earlier uh, part of the video? Uh, reallocating our skill Be points I would birth thee as a th so yeah that's what we can do here now we can talk to uh, Renella Renala and uh, uh, we can get uh, our points reallocated if we would like so like say say you stuck your points somewhere where you didn't want them or you just don't like the way your build is going you can go talk to her and she'll reallocate your souls uh, your points which means She'll wipe it back to your starting points and she'll gather all your points in one pile and you could just use from there. So say uh, Vigor was at like 12, Endurance was at like 10 or 11 or something, Mind was at 11, Strength was at like 12, Dexterity was at like 14 I think, Intelligence was 10, Faith 8, and Arcane 8. That's what it would go back to. It would all restart, but you would have those she would basically pull your points into a pile and say here redistribute that's basically what she does now which is cool because say we wanted to do a different type of build say hey you know let's uh let's put more instead of uh, into uh dexterity right now let's take like five points and put it into endurance or into vigor or something else you know we have that ability I'm okay with my build right now, so I'm not going to do it. It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? Is there a key in here someplace? Can we go in here? Nope. So where the hell is this key then? Maybe she'll give us a key? Is that Marika? No, that's a, that's a dude. Seek God. Isn't she technically a god? But yeah, guys, shit, we beat uh, Renella, and I don't know what her great rune does, but... Oh, we can read about it, actually. Used to perfect rebirth. Amber egg clutched by Renella, queen of the full moon, great rune of unborn demigods. Perfect Perfects those who have been born anew children born anew by Renala all are all frail and short-lived imperfect beings each and all huh oh okay what I think this is telling me is that she's going to rebirth us back to our starting stats. I don't know if she's going to reallocate them. Be wary of sorcerer. Try ritual, but be wary of cramped area. I'm confused. Art thou now? 
A larva tier is required for rebirth. Okay, so we can't even do it. I'm con I'm confused as to what that great room does. Weird. All right, so. I don't know, man. This game hella confusing. Because there are parts of this game and areas we cannot get to. Like the roof of uh, this place. I'm confused. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, uh, the game's almost over, guys, or the video, sorry. So apparently we can't just reallocate our souls, or our skill points, I mean. She looking mighty weird. Art thou now assured of thy one? Be not alarmed. I would birth thee. That's so weird that we fought her and beat her and she gave us the rune. She just doesn't give a shit. She's just like, eh, whatever. Leave me to nurture my egg. Oh, we haven't gone through the fort right here either, but there's a curse on it. Uh, this village, I don't know what's in there, but it probably has something useful. Um, I think the Volcano Manor would be next, guys, but that shit is fucking tough over there. The enemies just, I don't know, <clears throat> they're on some other shit, dude. Let's, uh, go ahead and use this. I need to look at something because I fuck this up every time. Okay. Remember to Vanilla Queen of the Lola. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Alright, there's something that I want to try real quick. Ah, oh, almost. So, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and raise, uh, our vigor, or, yeah, let's go ahead and raise our vigor. Okay, now, um, shit, what was I, was, what was I just thinking about doing? Um, 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 let's see. Oh, yeah, you know what it was? It was over here. Um, here we go, right here. Ruined Labyrinth, I think is. Mausoleum Compound. Okay, there's a mausoleum right there, and then there's another one, like, somewhere around here. But, uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Because I keep messing up, like, I keep, it keeps telling me I need to go to a finger reader to use the remembrance, and then it, it's, like, keeps fucking up when I get here. So I have a remembrance, let's see if I can use it here. 
Nah, see? Like, I don't get it. You know what? Let's look at this. Oh, we got those painting things. I forgot about that. Okay, mausoleums. Wait a minute. Was it... Um, what was it? Uh, states... Guarding, guarding. It's not in here? This is supposed to tell us about everything that we've learned. I'm confused. That's supposed to tell us about everything. That's weird. It's not showing us uh, the things. Um, it's not an item crafting inventory. Uh, 